Alright, uh, streaming again after an absence of about a week. Um, kind of lost track of what I was doing. I did a once-over, tried to catch myself back up. I realize now uh, everybody has predator armor now, so there's a bit of an aesthetic change in the look of everybody. Uh, but also, one thing kind of negative, actually very negative, is... Uh, my A team is all tired by one day or wounded by one team one day. <clears throat> However, I think I'm hoping these guys will do okay. But if this is a lot of uh, I mean, I don't like to take more than one squaddy on a mission, but I'm taking two. I even have two snipers on this mission just because one of them is a sergeant and I wanted to get some higher accuracy on it. The mission difficulty is moderate. We just have to recover an item, so hopefully this won't be too bad. This will be the first mission with Predator armor, so everybody does have plus four hit points and an extra inventory slot, so all I could really do with it for most for the most part is just have everybody everybody bring hand grenades and pistols. I would build some extra gear, but I just don't have any supplies right now, so it's kind of a weird situation to jump right back into after a week. So we have an Israeli assaulter named uh Yekil Adam. Probably mispronouncing that, but this will be his first mission. He was a mission reward a couple missions or so ago. Uh, Corporal Moore will be trying to get his skill up. Uh, but over here we have Top Notch. He's uh, actually my highest ranked sniper. And then we got two guys over here that are so low level that they're still wearing balaclavas. They're even they're just red shirts. Uh, Lieutenant Mjolder will be leading this mission. And nothing really more to do other than to just dive in. Sink or swim. Here we go. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. So I'm imagining I should have talked at the uh, mission load. Sometimes it uh, loses the stream for a moment, so I'll wait. Remote recon suggests an exposed data vault is being held by Advent forces inside one of their facilities in this area. From what we can gather, the vault is storing data critical to the alien's latest operation. So we're moving... Eliminate all enemy contacts and secure the area. Take control of those assets at all costs. Menace 1-5, we've got a bead on the Advent Data Vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay, this is an interesting map layout. I've never really uh, seen a factory-looking building like that. Unfortunately, both of my shinobis are on a covert op um, to hunt the Chosen, and my Reaper is wounded. So I don't really have a dedicated scout for this mission, but we're just going to have to improvise. Oh, boy. So move this guy up to here. Cover me, yeah. So you got two sectoids and we have a specter. Now this guy being a squatty, he is a ranger, so he can shoot twice as long as he doesn't move. Um, his accuracy is really bad though, being a squatty. Only 69% aim. Um 
I'm gonna move Mjolnir up here. Roger. Mjolnir did bring with him as my lead grenadier in his grenade slot where he gets uh, carries two grenades in it. He's carrying the acid grenade that was picked up a long time ago in a global scan reward. I don't have really a dedicated medic either. This specialist, though, I'd like to get him ranked up so I have a you know multiple medical kit using specialist. You might notice he's wearing the XCOM armor from the first game. His backstory I noticed in his profile, he's a veteran of the last war, so doesn't affect gameplay, it's just a little aesthetic thing I've done for him. Heading up. We do have two grenadiers on this mission, so I mean this guy his accuracy is probably garbage. And he's afraid of the chosen. I did not notice that. 68 aim. Ugh. It's garbage. Okay. But at least he has two grenades, which he can destroy cover. Hicks, at least, he is a sergeant. He has some skills and abilities, including, say it with me, ever vigilant. So he can move his full movement and not, uh, okay. he'll, he'll go into Overwatch for free. Plus, being a sergeant, his accuracy should be a lot better. Yeah, his aim is 73, which... Not amazing, but it's better than nothing. And at least this assaulter does have the uh, stun gun, or arc thrower, rather. Moving to designated position. And at least he's a corporal, so... Did end up with the ability where even a miss with his arc thrower will at least disorient the target. I'm gonna keep top notch where he's at. And I think I'll set full cover. I'll move him to here. And so I wanna get those snipers up on that roof. Let's move! Let's move! No problem. On Overwatch. I hope I don't Wait, cost any lives on this mission. I feel like it's actually been more like two weeks Overwatch. since the last mission. On Overwatch. Roger. I had a lot I going on in my uh, Roger that. life lately, so I've been kind of distracted. Okay, so they went that way. Move. It's a tall building too. And there's a drainage pipe there and here. So people can maybe get up on the roof. Get some sight lines down in there. Looks like there's some windows too in that room. Because you know one pod's definitely going to be by the objective. Use his double move and go into Overwatch. I was hoping he'd be able to move up to that wall. Yeah. Slightly risky. Okay, let's get my sergeant up on this roof. Sergeant Snap. Oh no, that's he. He's. I think he's actually just a cor uh, squatty or a corporal. This is my sergeant. <sighs> Such a crappy shot. Minus 22 at that range on squad site, but if I get him up to higher ground, you get plus 20 aim, so one of the reasons you want to get your snipers on higher terrain kind of negates that long watch penalty. Uh, 
Understood. Moving out. Yes. Will do. Holding position. Covering now. Got it covered. Ray. I'm gonna have to fight these guys at some point anyway. Very tempted to just go for it. I move him there, he might not actually reveal them because of the peak from cover. It gives you a three tile grace period as long as you move to full cover, but I don't trust it. <laughs> Plus there might be uh, people over here I haven't revealed yet. And it doesn't cost an action to look at what you're hacking if you cancel it. So I'm just gonna check out what it is. And none of these are worth it. Failed all enemies get a defense mobility boost. The hacking is a joke in this game. The the penalties are permanent. It's always incredibly high risk, very low reward. But it's always worth checking, because you never know. About two or three times a campaign, I'll find something worth hacking. Coordinates received. Now, being a moderate difficulty mission, I imagine Tuesday. I imagine that there's probably four, possibly five pods on this one. Headed there now. Indeed. Good choice. Sure. Move into Overwatch. Will do. Just moving him over here, one right. space. Waiting for further orders. And I'll move him up. Actually, I'm going to move him to here. Moving. Eyes on the prize. So when they're activated, he's closer to get some flanking opportunities that way. Leading to Overwatch. Wow, they're just kind of tiptoeing worse than I am. I only have, I've got to I've got to start the battle this turn. So do I hit them all for four? I'm going to save my grenadiers not to start the ambush, but to instead take out cover for where they run to. And here we go.
We have to keep moving. Yeah, get by the truck. I'll just blow it up on you, idiot. I was hoping that would blow up the car on him too, but I guess it's not going to. Let's see if we can finish this sectoid. I got some loot. Got an Larry four. Bye bye, cargo duty. Use my rapid targeting to give a ten percent aim boost to everybody. Really wish I had a scout, a shinobi, or a reaper so I can move over and. <sighs> it looks clear. I, just, I don't want to act, drag another pod into this, especially now that some people have gone. I can't remember if he has Snapfire or not. I think he does. I can't get into a flanking position anyway, so... So 1 in 4 shot, but if I go into Overwatch, when he moves on his turn, it'll, it'll be a waste anyway, so it's better odds now. Nice, okay. It was worth it. Might just be an Overwatch turn. Or I could kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Use my regular For grenade. Sake, no! This should this should detonate the truck, because it's already burning. Okay, he's toast. And they're in cover. If he runs up. He should run into line of sight of these three if they're on Overwatch. I got you back, bro. Oh yes. God, I really would like to move him up, but I don't want to activate another pod at the end of the turn. Uh, come on, guys. That was my bad. Minus one five. The clock is ticking. Jeez, I don't think I can do this. Get to the vault and time. Yeah. I can activate another pod doing this. Maybe not. Moving. Follow me. Excellent. I'm 
gonna rush him over here because he does have that drone. He can hack from a distance. There's a chance that maybe I can get him up into <sighs> that wall's in the way though, but maybe he can get to a spot where he can hack that. Roger. Heading out. I don't think I'm gonna win this mission. I'm just gonna try to avoid casualties. These don't. These guys don't have long watch, so they don't have squad sight on their Overwatch. This way. Ah oh, shit! Look out! I fucked up so bad. Like, this is the worst move of the campaign so far. That was retarded. God. He'll probably try to just uh, copy somebody. I'm more afraid of him and the flamethrower guy. If my assaulter could get to a position where he could arc throw stun one of them, it'd be nice. What did the? I can maybe do it to him, but then he'll probably run around the corner and drop down and get everybody. Oh, that was the worst move ever. Uh, and he's got no cover against that direction. And the stupid grenade won't reach, of course. If I run and gun up to here, I could probably probably arc throw him, but I'll probably activate another pod over here. Ah oh, man, I fucked up. I really fucked up. And now he's totally exposed. I can make the floor drop out from under him. I'm gonna try this. Frog out! Okay, so he should have took at least two damage from that. So I might actually even try to just grenade him. right there, right?
total desperation here. Take this! Don't think he was there. I'm going to have me some fun. <sighs> Just make it rain frags. I killed one of them anyway. That's about as good as I can do. And everybody's flanked. And that sectoid's gonna run back to. Come get some. Standing by. Not a problem. Knew he'd do that, so no! at least he's not dead. But how are we gonna kill this guy one turn with what I have available? At least we know where they are. I mean, just no flamethrower is probably gonna torch my assaulter. This'll miss. It's a uh, rapid oh, reflexes. Okay, but I know where he's at now. He's right there. Right to the diagonal to the right of that pipe. Oh, Jesus. Wait. I'm fine with this. Okay, that went way better than it... Okay, so one guy's in Overwatch. If I can kill this guy, that gets rid of him, too. I might just grenade the shit out of him. Or even double barrel him. This is close okay. enough to get that grenade on him. I can't believe I'm using a road cone for cover. Those always get destroyed in one shot. Okay, good. Ah, but I only have an acid grenade. Is this going to rain down on my people? It's a possibility. Uh, desperate times. What I might do is use the assaulter to... Ah, it doesn't destroy cover. I was thinking I could use the assaulter to arc throw the flamethrower, because Sectoid's probably going to try to mind control somebody. If I could drop him through the floor, not only would it do some damage, but he might be able to just shoot him from the side. There's my other guy way over here. Watch him activate another pod. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, nice. Make it so. Bombs away! 
If this drops him through the floor, it should give my other guys good good angles on him. I could even run over and do that double barrel on him. I'm gonna do it. Oh, he's an overwatch though. Shit. Um Can he do it from here? Only eight percent, god dang. He can almost just kill him with the rifle from here. If it crits, it'll kill him. Can you hit him now? Oh, hundred percent, go for it. Okay. Ah, god dang it. I'd like to move him to cover, then shoot. But that guy's still in Overwatch. Right? Or is he not in Overwatch? He doesn't have the eyeball icon. I, sw I can swear somebody went into Overwatch. What am I thinking? This guy's right here. Okay, so that takes Man. both those guys out. Plus, it gets Hicks back in the action. so weird that the ass is on the roof. <sighs> oh, I can actually hack it from that space. Which is going to be possibly my plan next turn. Now here's the thing. If I fire on him with his first shot, it doesn't end his turn. If it hits, it's only a 1 in 3 chance, but if it hits, 5 to 7 damage, 6 hook points. So 5 to 7 damage, 5, 6, 7, that's a 3 point spread. He has a 1 in 3 chance to hit. If it hits, there's a 2 in 3 chance it'll kill him. But then, there's a 50% chance, lots of math going on here, that he'll explode. Which will probably take out his full cover, but it can move after that. That's assuming it actually hits him. There's two pods out there besides these guys. He's from that first pod, he's from the second. I'd love to just run Hicks up to there, but he like I, ugh. and I would if do that actually if Hicks was the first guy going right now. But my other people have all taken actions. Okay, I need to move this guy anyway. Okay, you can see both from there full cover. Here I come. see the sectoid from here? No. Oh, go for it. I forgot he missed it. He has that, uh, I gave him a stock. Okay, now if this hits him, it just kills him. 
because he has five hip. I'm gonna go for it. it nice, okay. I really want to move him up to here, but I'm afraid to... This is an Overwatch turn. Oh, he can still see him. A 10% chance. Let's go. Good cover. And you can see him. One and three, I'm gonna go for it. I apologize. It's only got a ten percent, so I'm gonna Does it cost an action to do a protocol, I think, so Scanning ah, I just know if I move him to here it's gonna activate. Kill him. Kill him. I got nothing. Minus one five. You're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. He has the most hit points of a lot of these guys. Well, they got nine as well. He's got nine. I'm tempted to just run and gun him up to here. You want to be a hero, uh, Yakil? Because you're going to be. Put him down. And I'll aid protocol him. This is going to activate a pod. Maybe even two. I've got eyes on advent troops. Attempting connection. Yeah. One in fifty chance I could get that. Might as well go for it. Okay, mission accomplished, but we still got to fight. Piece of cake. Got Target package secured. Menace one five. Status confirmed. It should not have ended this turn. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. I'm kind of annoyed by that. I ran it. Did the run and gun. That should have been a free action. Now, to be fair, he's probably going to get mind-controlled if the sectoid goes first. Oh, he gets a... space from a blue move. I'd love to have got him there and put him in cover. I mean, overwatch. That's probably going to activate a pawn. Not a problem. Okay, when he was there, he was able to see that window, so... I'm just going to reload. Absolutely, yes! Watch. You are just going to... I right. would have rather have had him in Overwatch, but I need to get him up close in the fight. I don't know if he can see up there, but... Overwatch. He's in full cover. I need 
you get to full cover, please don't activate a pod. If there's somebody over there and he activates it, I'm going to scream. the mind control. So how can I kill him? Shield bear is probably gonna... It's gonna shield everybody, I'm sure. It's just gonna make the sectoid harder to get. Shooting from behind cover. He's in my. I can't. Can't stop him. Ah, why has it got to be the assaulter? I end up running up with the shotgun on my people now. Ah, that acid finally f fell to the floor. Of course. <sighs> uh, they are so dug in right now. Almost tempted to just... There's no timer now. I should just pull back. But if I pull back and go into Overwatch, they'll gun down my own guy. Sure, there's one more pod out there. This is a pod, sectoids from the first pod, third pod, we've eliminated. And there's probably a fourth pod out there, I'm sure of it. So it's kind of, I keep mentioning this fourth phantom pod because uh, it affects my maneuver. Let me see if yeah. I can get a flank. Possibly in the sectoid. Nope. I might just pull back. Problem is, if I pull him back, <laughs> he's gonna go to Overwatch because he's ever vigilant, and I don't want him to go to Overwatch. So I'm gonna. Do Though they are shielding my guy, and he's got nine hit points. It seems like the safest plan. Ah, but we're so... We got full cover! God, how come none of you people have line of sight or anything? Would've been nice if anybody but him got mind controlled, because you can arc... If I just arc throw whoever's mind controlled... At least they're paralyzed for a turn. You don't have to worry about them. from left and right. He can maybe run up the... Well, this is going to be such a weird... I feel like he's kind of safe. I might just... Hu I'm just going to hunker down. Cover me. 
We hunker down in full cover. Oh, cool. Okay, avoid grenade spam, though. Roger. Spread him out. I'm afraid to leave him there because I'm afraid he can run up and get a flank shot on him. Or an explosion could get him and make him drop through the floor. But he's in full cover and he's got height. Down. Take cover. I got you back, bro. Why did you over? Why did you use the pistol, you asshole? Okay, this sectoid has. He's. He's got to go. What the fuck? I go out like this. Did I just lose somebody? Or is that a civilian? And that guy, I'm gonna lose somebody. Taking fire over here. He's gonna kill that guy who's heavily wounded. <laughs> okay, he's not. Okay, that was a civilian who died. He, God, what did he shoot? I can't move him or he's gonna get overwatched, right? Oh, the guy doesn't have line of sight. Shit, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. God dang, that was a bad shot. I've gotta take out this damn sectoid. This is a bad mission. Anything explosive by you assholes? Is that actually going to hit him? I mean, it's making him glow, but he doesn't have a tile in her. Go for Send it. Them bastard, some of our glory. I'll take him out of Overwatch, too. Nice. Okay. I contemplated evacuating my wounded, but this guy is squad site. Ah, the ladder's blown up, really? Just go back there. Watch my back. Ah, those are explosive. That's explosive. Everything's explosive. This is horrible. Still, run Show there. Me. What's your odds? Might end up shooting that. He's right there. 
I believe... Okay, I can't move there. He's behind... Those are full cover. I don't think he can get line of sight from any of these positions for him. See if we get any angles. Nope. Where's he see from there? The officer. I, I actually forgot about that officer. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. I doubt I can. But he's burning with acid, so I believe they take 1 to 3 damage. 1 to 3 damage over time. Even if he takes three acid damage, he won't die. God dang it. He's gonna run up and kill people. Could use the med kit, heal him up by four, and then run, but then he couldn't reach anywhere to good. If I just move him right there, he's gonna run up and flank shoot him, because he's still brainwashed. His bet best bet might just be to run back to full cover. Right, cover. Hoping that these being full cover, he'll be safe from line of sight. God, I just have nothing good I can do with this guy, though. Can't move anywhere without getting the acid. I don't want to get by the exploding thing of death. He's going to run and flank him if I don't move him, though. At least the ladder to him below is taken out, so he can't run up to there. So I was afraid my assaulter that's brainwashed might run to the... He's probably going to go after me older. Beautiful. Shot wide! I just run him go, to go, there. Go, go, go. See what I got up here on this roof. I don't think he can get up to the roof from any of these spots. But despite that, he's in half cut. I'm gonna hunker down. Yeah. Right. Quit using your pistol! Okay, never give your pistols to a ranger. Because they will... They will overwatch, they're ever vigilant with their pistol, evidently. God, fuck this cover-up stuff up here, though. Oh, man. This is why full cover matters. Oh, 
Okay, he still has full cover. I thought that shotgun on, blast. Say, show that fucking gun. Damn. You tarts. He's gonna slap somebody. Maybe not. I don't think they can the move they have a charge attack, so good. Good thing I moved him away from there. Oh, I guess the floor is... Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. And he still has the shield. Nice. Okay, I think that's sectoid. Okay, he's right there. Can you deal with this finally? Yeah, kill this son of a bitch. Okay, can you get him with the second shot? Okay, that fucking guy is gone. And that took out the zombie, too. Okay, so we got an officer, shield bearer, trooper. Can you get anybody of your squad sight from all the way back here? Good, you can. Go for it. Well done. Ain't so damn funny now, is it? I wonder. Ah, he doesn't have his running gun. Contemplating just going up to there. Shotgun. He has his double blast. Actually. Ah, there you go. I don't think the officer can get. As long as. I'm starting to hope that other pod is. Oh, it's a double move. God dang it. If not, I'm tempted to just go here and get that flank on him. What's this shotgun or shard gun do? Six to eight. Seven. <sighs> Twenty-eight in cover. I'm, uh, I'm definitely gonna move him, but for a flank shot. I mean, this does... I already forgot how much. I think it's 5 to 7. 4 to 7, right? 5 to 7. But he has armor of 2. I just want to just move him up to here. There's so many high-risk moves I could try. I mean... I could just run him up and probably take him out. But then he'll probably run up and get a flank. But he's shielded. 
does this guy have aid protocol back? He does. Excellent. I could just aid pro... I'm going to do it. Understood. Moving out. If we blast him, it's worst case scenario, no crit, and gets a six. Six minus two armored be four damage. Leaving him with three, which will take one to three from acid damage. Or uh, go big or go home. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Enemy destroyed. Negative ammo. I'm spent. This changes everything. So now, I know I will move him up to here for sure. Away. Put him in an Overwatch. Also, that gets rid of that officer's shield. Affirmative. Covering now. I might just have him start running over. So we can flank him from behind. Now, can he get up that ladder to me, though? No, I'd have to run there, go up that. Then I don't think he can get up here and shoot. So go ahead. This guy's going to slowly it. sneak around the back side. All right. Okay, could get Mjolnir back in the action. Orders received. I don't want any surprises. full cover. Maybe next turn he'll get a shot. Plus, that might make him nervous and actually make him move. You're fucked up beyond recognition. And your cover's gone for some reason. So what we're gonna do with you, you're gonna run back you're gonna get behind this cooler and you're gonna use a protocol. I actually think there's no cooldown on aid protocol. I could be wrong. I use it on him. I guess it's one thing I didn't think of. He killed the guy, now he doesn't have the shield anymore either. Future reference. Okay, there is one turn cooldown on A protocol. Okay, is so your quick targeting darn? No, oh, one in two chance though. I might be able to get this guy to work, just volume of fire, we can take him out. I might run and gun him there and use the um, arc thrower on him to at least disorient the target. I bet you this guy doesn't have a line of sight from there. No. How much closer are you to get in there? Just keep on sneaking up that backside. Roger that. I don't think there's another pod. I mean, I'm gonna regret saying that, because there probably is. Run and gun it. Full cover on both sides, and you can see him from there. Got it. Is that no one ever questioned how these factories work. Shut up, Bradford. Meat comes out, but you don't see any livestock going in, do you? 
So if this hits him, he's just stunned. He's out. Nice! He'll miss the next turn. That changes everything. Now I can do some nice, like... Just run up to here and do a flank shot. I can even flank it from there, even. Yeah! Fuck you! It's out! Eh, it's close to 50 50. Just go for it. Is that it? That's how it's done. Status confirmed. All that was salvage from. That was a terrible start when I activated that pod. I got two guys horribly wounded, but no dead. And mission accomplished, so. I call that a good comeback. And I got two uh, squatties who hopefully they'll level up from this. Gene therapy clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports the nice thing too is I'm one day from all of my A team recovery, so have been dismissed as radical. That, that was that was not a bad outing for the uh, the bench warmers getting to go into action. And I learned some valuable lessons, namely run and gun and then hack on a mission objective is not a free action. You will use the turn up. Yeah, my uh, Salter did a lot. He, I just realized he's the guy who injured both guys. He shot something explosive. Horribly injured, but he did level up, so that's good. Gonna take damn high, damn good ground is always a necessity. Now that's funny. I've never had a sniper who could take run and gun. <laughs> right. We got a lot of intel. We also got our got a repeater finally, so that's good. Hello, commander. Oh, jeez. Wow. Why do they all get Fear of the Chosen? There wasn't even a Chosen on that mission. What the hell, man? Anybody else level up? Alright, look at this. What the hell? You got Fear of the Chosen on a mission that didn't have a Chosen. You... Same there. Cautious, what does this do? Chance to hunker down at a defensive posture after the first move action. Okay, so he's not going in the field until he uh, gets that removed. Gravely wounded. Get any scars, buddy? Hey, yeah, he did get big shot. Serious smile. Now, every time I get uh, lower tier guys, when they get their nickname, they lose the uh, balaclava. And it looks like he's got a scar anyway, so... He's got Mr. Joker here. Wow. Never had anybody with that scar before. I uh, guess I, you'd be cautious after getting curb stomped by your own guy, too. Um, so the other guy, he was... a scar on you, Mr. Uh, no scar for XCOM veteran.
Fear of the Chosen on him, too. Wow, he got one kid. Who did he kill on that mission? I mean, he almost killed two of her friendlies, permanently scarred one guy. Not an impressive first outing for uh, Corporal Yechul Adam, or Yechul. Not as good as our other Israeli guy, who will be back in action the next day. Our only technical on the team as well. Damn. That's a lot of people with uh, ailments now. What's this one? Are they actually bonded? I'm going to stop streaming for now. I'm going to go make a sandwich, get a soda. So uh, hopefully I will stream a bit more in the next few days and not have as long of a hiatus between streams. Uh, there definitely won't be any streaming tomorrow, but there might be some later tonight. We'll see. But tomorrow 